there are uh, uh, concerns, and uh, with this uh, Skripal case, uh, uh, it was uh, indeed uh, chemical weapons used on uh, European territory, so it's uh, quite uh, unprecedented. Uh, and uh, 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 certainly there has to be a response, and I uh, uh, see that EU is actually, together with uh, other international community, providing this response, uh, 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 introducing certain countermeasures, uh, showing Russia that that kind of behaviour is not acceptable. But is Europe really in a very difficult position because of the amount of resource, especially natural gas, that it takes from Russia as well? There's only a limit to what Europe can do, isn't there? Well, uh, I think Europe has been uh, uh, clear that uh, it's not going to tolerate some kind of aggressive behavior of Russia. It was clear after uh, Russia's aggression against uh, uh, Ukraine, uh, seizure of uh, Crimea, conflict, uh, conflict in uh, Donbas. Uh, it's also now uh, uh, concerns this uh, uh, Skripal case, and I think it's very important that uh, EU and uh, broader international uh, community uh, react to that kind of behavior. But I mean, as a obviously a very important player in European politics over the last decade. So do you see things getting worse now in the relationship between the EU and Russia? Uh, well, uh, certainly relations are uh, uh, complicated, but uh, then it takes, uh, uh, so to say, both sides uh, uh, to be willing to engage uh, constructively and stop certain uh, aggressive behaviour. Mm. Are both sides willing to act constructively? Uh, well, uh, uh, so far as we see, there are still uh, some uh, issues. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.